what we have is we have the spreader, we have a mount plate, a hitch pin, and the wiring harness and a controller. What we will do is take the hitch plate, mount it on, line up your holes, notice the angle will follow your tubes. Now what we will do is hook up our wires onto the bottom of the motor. Take note of the positive negative signs on the motor. We have the negative wire hooked up and the positive wire hooked up onto the motor. Now we are ready to install this spreader onto the back of the pickup and then proceed with the wiring. Okay, what we did here is we slid it into our two inch receiver hitch and then you take and you put your pin in there. Slide that through the hole, lock it. It is now here. So now I drilled a hole through the firewall and I'm going to run these two wires through that hole. Um, this one here goes to the battery. This one here will go to the spreader. So that one will run completely to the back of the truck. There is a hole right up there that I'm going to feed these wires through. Okay, I have both wires run through the hole out towards the engine compartment. And what we did is we ran the wires through the firewall and I have my wire running to my battery right here, but I am not going to hook it up quite yet. I'm going to run the other wire. Note, it is the one with the round end on it that goes to the salter. So I will run that down away from my exhaust so I can run along the frame rail so I have some place to attach it. And we have the truck up in the air so I can kind of show you where I'm going to run the wire. Now that we have our wire run from the cab to the back, we grab the supplied harness that they sent for the back of the truck. Plug that in, and then we'll have a ground wire that we're gonna have to ground on the back of the truck here somewhere. We are going to hook up a ground. I made a hole into the bumper that I can screw it into. So we now have our ground hooked up, and then I will go and put a zip tie onto here to hold the wires so they do not drag when they are disconnected. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pre or put our uh, controller in, mount it into the cab here. Now we can finish our wiring. Okay, we have our controller mounted to the dash. Um, we are going to hook up all of our wires. We already hooked up the white one, which would go to the salter in the back. And this red one here with the fuse on it comes from the battery. We already got them hooked up. And we're going to hook up our blue one, which will go to your 12 volt keyed wire. This green wire here is actually for a vibrator. This one here does not come with the vibrating setup, so we are not going to worry about that one. Now what we're going to do is hook up our power. What we have is an on and off, slower speed, faster speed. Press your power, you will hear it in the back running. You hit your slower or your faster, if you hit it fa you know, your faster one time, you'll see it blinking. The more times you hit that, the faster that light will blink. That's so you know what speed you're on. And when it's really blinking, it's fast. 
And then if you just want to slow it down, so you don't spread so much salt, you can slow it down to where it's not going to throw it all over your grass. Now that we are done installing our mayor salt spreader, we can take it out and give it a try and make sure it's going to spread some salt. <laughs> 